You know, some days you got to sit there and laugh at how things just evolve on social media. There's a lot of people talking about the new Zelda game that was announced at the Nintendo Switch or the Nintendo announcement trailers out there and how it's focused on Zelda and not Link. I'm going to watch the trailer. I have not seen the trailer yet. I've seen a few inklings of posts online and I've been laughing the entire time because people think that this is a, a woke ideology, a DEI situation. And I got to tell you, it's far from it. Zelda being the forefront protagonist in a video game is something people have wanted for a very long time. This is a franchise that is very old and it makes sense at this point to switch it up to Zelda. And I have to say right off the bat, the fact that the game is being named Echoes of Wisdom means that this is, has potential to be a trilogy pointing at the three points of the Triforce of Wisdom, Courage, and Power. So there's a lot of lore behind it and why Zelda is such a thing. I also did a video back quite a while. This is over a year ago now where people were posting about uh, a Netflix series that was all AI art and all these things I'd made, you know, I, it was very satirical. It was a fun video for me to make, but at the same time, you've got Britanna Wu, talking about it the anime nerd institute talking about it how uh, i don't get it you know it's representation and zelda's a girl and it's absolutely hilarious that this has now come full circle into its own video game in that sense but without further ado let's take a look at this trailer of course i i'm not going to play it all the way through that, that wouldn't be like me i am going to stop and talk about it um, if you want to see the actual trailer, it's not that hard to look up. Um, so first screen here, you have a figure holding the Hillian shield um, in a cloak. Oh, but I would say that's Link because he's carrying the sword. And he's got the spin attack. So that's, that's definitely. Okay, okay. So I can tell you right now, just from this look here, this is a take on Link to the Past. Okay, so we got you got Ganon or Ganondorf. He's fighting. Oh, the Triforce. Okay, so this part here where Zelda is actually encapsulated in a crystal. That was what the story was for Link to the Past, where the maidens, the seven maidens, were encased in crystal and used, you had to collect them to unlock the final level to actually go defeat Ganondorf in A Link to the Past. Okay, so it's opening up another realm. This looks like the the dark world and the light world is actually bleeding together instead of it being like a magic mirror version of it. It, from playing um, Tears of the Kingdom, this is very similar part where it was all the gloom. Uh, this very looks like that. He, Link frees Zelda, and now it becomes, Link is getting sucked into the Dark World. This is kind of, in a sense, in an essence, Zelda is now searching out Link, would be my understanding of it. This is a re of A Link to the Past. This looks like A Link to the Past. Echoes of Wisdom. 
This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Yeah, the, this t makes total sense. Uh, Link vanishes into the dark world and is lost. So what is what would the second game be called then? If they make three games, so you have Echoes of Wisdom, uh, uh, Courage of the Lost or something like that, Lost lost of the Courage, and I, I'm guessing in that sense, and then the third game will be something of power. Stolen away. Stolen. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Yeah, now sense. alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a... Okay, so now she gets her own little uh, fairy. This is nothing really new. They're just switching switching it up. And at least they have a reason for Zelda to step into the limelight. Link has disappeared. That right there is better writing than what we have seen in anything out there with these DEI BS video games. Mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod and sets off on a journey. The Tri-Rod? Why, why in the world would you call it the Tri-Rod? I already know where this is going. The, the adult market is going to make their own rods out of these things. By waving the Tri-Rod at a table she found. You need a better name for the damn thing. Uh, you know, you have the Master Sword and you turn around and name it the Tri-Rod. I think you're trying a little too hard. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. See, why wouldn't you call it the Rod of Echo or the Echo Rod or something like that instead of the Tri-Rod? I can tell you right now, this, this mechanic though is easily broken. You can easily break something like this. So unless they have certain areas that this will be disabled, this type of mechanic would be broken very, very quickly. Okay, so now you're making water blocks, beds. Is this Minecraft mixes with uh, Echoes of Wisdom or mixes with Zelda? Um, I know there was the new Princess uh, Peach game that came out, and it was very indicative of a lot of different games. You saw mechanics from many different games in it, and this is starting to snowball that sort of essence of them taking from many different games and putting it into one, all these different mechanics. ...or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. The the gloom coming or whatever it's going to be called in this one coming out like that for this scene here. It it looks like you're going to be a race against the clock. Um, that in itself is going to create a little bit more pressure on it and easily to be able to die to something like that straight up. It doesn't matter that it's Link or Zelda in this case. It's, it's a step back from the norm where Link is always fighting. And this is a step back in using your brain to get through a lot of puzzle solving. A lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. It looks good. Uh, I would say it's a lot better in that sense. Now, those that are saying that this is just a DEI stuff, I don't believe so. This this was a just it was a time coming. This was something that was it made sense to happen. Uh, so to switch it up to have Zelda instead of it being Link as the protagonist because Link disappeared, you will probably still be able to play Link at some point in this game, as you can see at the very beginning there where he's going in and fighting Ganondorf and freeing Zelda from the crystal. Um, you've got the heart pieces in the background here. You've got the mountain. You've got an ice area. That will be very unique in itself because I don't really, there isn't much with the ice areas, but this very looks like a Link to the Past and a retelling of it. My biggest complaint here is that it looks really way too bubbly and I wish this looked like Link to the Past. Um, Link to the Past was an amazing game and I think the sprites they did in that was very well done. This, they kind of make everything look a little bit too cartoony, um, but I would still like to play this game. I would love to play this game because I think it looks very good. Uh, it does fill I think something that was possibly missing in the Zelda series and we'll see what happens. We'll see when the game plays out 
But like I said, I don't believe this was any flip-flop on what it actually was with Link versus Zelda type of thing. I think this is something that was just a natural progression of the storyline of A Legend of Zelda. Back this up just a little bit here. I know this could be of what I was saying the first part of a trilogy, but what if, what if, and let's throw our game theory hat on here. What if this is the third game? of a trilogy you have a link to the past you have a link between worlds and now the echoes of wisdom possibly being the third installment of that type of game that very well could be what's going on here and like i said it just makes sense that nintendo would dive into the zelda narrative and put her as the protagonist in a game it was only a matter of time until this happened was it spurred along with the recent things going on in the games industry i don't think so i think this is something that has been in the works for a very long time anyway i'm your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again very soon <music>